Yeah. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the test discussion. So, yeah, very very good afternoon, everyone. I will I will request to everyone that whenever the test discussion is going on, whatever your doubts, please do mention it in the comment section so that we can discuss the topic, the issue, the theme then and there. So let us move to the discussion. So the first question, it was with respect to National Food Security Act of 2013. Many a times we see that this important theme has been repeatedly asked in the examination. But what have we uh, done in this question is first, in the first option, pregnant women and lactating mothers are entitled to receive maternity benefits of rupees 6000 yes this option is right and you need to see as to what is the option that is talking about right it is asked the correct option is asked so this is the correct uh, option in case of non supply it for example if there is non supply due to some of the reasons then there is a provision of food security allowances yes this option is also correct but when we come to the option number third identification of eligible household it is done by not the center government but it is done by who it is done by the respective state governments state government so this should be the answer that is one and two both the options are correct but the third option that is incorrect now let us move to the second question with respect to the national emergency last time also we have taken uh, this question so yeah parliamentary procedure parliamentary procedures in india consider the following statements right so this discussion will be divided into uh, two parts i will be dealing with some polity some science tech questions and uh, the history part and rest will be taken by the next faculty in this lecture censure motions can be moved only in Lok Sabha. Yes, this is only in Lok Sabha that the censure motion can be moved. In the Kangaru closure, only important clauses are taken up for debate and voting. This is also true with respect to the Kangaru closure motion. Right? So, motions which are also very important. Now, with reference to bicameral state legislature, very, very important this part of the uh, good afternoon good afternoon everyone this part of uh, your polity section this is not uh, even touch in the upsc preliminary uh, previous year's question till now so this is this becomes very important bicameral in state legislature there is no provision of joint sitting of two houses of the state legislature we are talking here about the state legislature to resolve the deadlock so as in the parliament we have in uh, at the center right if there is a deadlock on any ordinary bill there is a joint sitting so such kind of provision is not there in the state legislature this statement is true there is no such provision the ordinary bill passed by the legislative assembly can be detained by legislative council for a maximum period of three months it is yes at the start it uh, at the first time it can detain it can detain it by three months but once when again it is passed by the legislative assembly within one month one month it can detain for more but if it is not passed then whatever this legislative assembly legislative assembly of the state is passing for the second time this is termed as passed this is termed as passed so this statement is incorrect why because it can be maximum for four months right first three months and the next one month so it becomes maximum four months with reference to all india services consider the following statement right very very important with respect to the polity question parliament can create new all india services if the lok sabha passes a resolution it is not lok sabha it should be rajya sabha passes the 
resolution declaring that it is necessary for the national interest now so the statement is incorrect all no all india services has been created after the independence this statement is also wrong uh, so the forest forest services right indian forest services was created parliament can regulate the recruitment condition of service of persons appointed to all india services yes this statement is correct so only option 3 is correct yeah regarding delimitation council so we have regarding delimitation council article 82 and 170 that is speaking about this delimitation council it is a point so what we have to select the correct option it is uh, it is appointed by the president of india and works under the administrative control of the union ministry so what is it correct so statement 1 and 2 are correct it is appointed by president of india and works with collaboration of election commission of india and it is not under the home ministry right so here it was yes it is appointed by the president but not under the home ministry it is chaired by the chief election commission this is wrong it is chaired by the retired uh, retired cgi you know in its orders cannot be called in question before any court yes its order cannot be question in any court right now with respect to foreign tribunals last to last year there was a lot of current issue that was going around this foreign tribunals right so both center and state earlier this foreign tribunals this only the center was empowered to establish a foreign tribunal but in 2019 they passed an amendment to this foreign tribunal allowing the state also to establish a foreign tribunals now what does this foreign tribunals does it uh, identifies the people uh, as in uh, who are not registered so this statement is uh, this statement is correct both center as well as state governments are empowered currently foreign tribunals are present in assam and west bengal this is incorrect because it is only in assam that is present it has the power of a civil court yes it has the power of a civil court so what are the functions right functions are it can summon and it can enforce to any person to attend and examine him enquire the discovery and production of any document it can issue commissions for the examination of any witness so such uh such are the functions of these tribunals now let us move to question number 15 yeah question number uh 15 or 16 directly 27 we will take this will be covered in your economy section 27 question number which is of try right telecom regulatory authority of india the try many uh, from the last uh, few years this question on try has been asked in the examination yeah with reference to the telecom regulatory authority of india consider the following statement try was established under telecom regulatory authority of india 1997 uh, yes it is a statutory body try powers over allocation of spectrums are binding they are not binding so it's it is a recommending body but it is not binding it regulates the revenue sharing arrangements of different service providers yes it does regulate uh the revenue sharing of different service providers so this statement is correct so answer is 1 and 3 regarding dg lockers dg locker can be used to securely store e documents yes e document can be stored also to store uris that is uniform resource identifier 
yes the link uri link of that a particular e document that can be also stored in this in which in this dg locker the e sign facility provided as part of the dg locker system can be used to digitally sign a document yes this is the main provision why we are using this uh, what is known as the dg locker right the signing system the digitally signed system can be attached to different documents now this dg locker uses not three factor but the two factor identification for logging into the application for first you can uh, log in using your mobile number using your aadhaar number and then it will send you an e to uh, otp and then you can uh, you will be able to log in using the two factor identification not the three factor right uh, which of the applications are of laser what do you mean by laser it is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation basically you are uh, stimulated you are using the uh, laser over here what are the various uses of this laser that is the question photo agulation of the retina yes there also laser can be used welding and cutting uh, the use in welding and cutting yes there also laser can be used surveying and arranging yes this is also correct correct garment laser cutting so if you are giving the high concentrated laser of high density there also this laser cutting can be used heat treatment yes so all the options are correct in this so multiple uses of lasers are there with reference to sophia what is this uh, sophia it is a space observatory for in space stratospheric observatory observatory for infrared astronomy and it is started by it is a joint project of nasa and german observatory and german national not isro so this statement is incorrect so second statement sophia has discovered water on the clavius crater which is one of the largest crater towards the sunlit part of the moon yes uh, this sophia it has discovered on that on the sun part of the moon we have found uh, elements of water so this statement is correct 31st humanoid robot what which of the following are the application of this human robot they are asking human robot kaha kaha pe use ho sakta hai disaster in disaster management that is the disaster response at power plant yes that can be used space travel we have in the currently we are seeing it championship for the elderly and sick people yes host for the growth of human transplant organs very yes it is also interacting with customers that we have already seen right so all the options are correct over there white phosphorus question is about which of the following statement are correct about white phosphorus now white phosphorus phosphorus it is very uh, at very low temperature it give it can catch fire and that is why it is uh, you know it is not allowed in wars and all but here in the current russia ukraine war ukraine has uh, you know many times complained of russia using this white phosphorus so it does not occur naturally yes it is made from white uh, it is made from this phosphate rocks so this statement is correct it is highly combustible substance that react with oxygen in the air at very low temperature also it can catch fire that is why it is not uh, so you can use where the ground is open but not where the citizens are organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons right has listed in its first schedules of chemical weapons that is that is not allowed this is weapon is prohibited but it is not listed here so this statement becomes incorrect solar cell which of the material or element among this are used in making solar cell 
तो सिलिकॉन अमाउन दिस इज ओनली यूज एंड रेस्ट आर नॉट यूज एस्टाइन इट फॉर्म्स मेजर पार्ट इन योर एलिमेंट्स विच आर फॉर्म्ड फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कैंसर एस्टाइन सीरियम सीरियम इज ऑल्सो नॉट यूज इन कैंसर सीरियम हैज लॉट ऑफ अदर यूजेस सच एस कार्बन इलेक्ट्रोइ्स इलेक्ट्रोइ्स दे आर यूज which of the following nanotechnology yes nanotechnology multiple use of nanotechnology is happening antibacterial cleanser yes it is used rollable electronic paper development yes detection of targeted sequences of nucleic acid that is the main function of this nanotechnology targeted use reduce fuel consumption is vehicle removal of oil from water multiple use all this are uses of nanotechnology free and open source software what does this means does it means that the software is for free no it does not mean the software is for free the question is on free and open software so what does you mean by free free means there are no constraint on the software no constraint on the software in terms of what in terms of copyright so this is a free of so free of cost it is not free of cost the aadhar project in india is built using free and open source software yes it is used over here yeah with respect with reference to different hormones now in the bi biology question hormones secreted in the human body consider the following statement thyroxine regulates carbohydrates proteins and fat metabolism in the body to provide the best balance yes this is the uh, thing that provide the best balance for growth insulin is produced by pancreas yes it is produced by pancreas and it helps in regulating your blood sugar yes and when the insulin is more the blood sugar is more then you cause the diabetes that is this question is about growth hormones is secreted by pituitary glands this statement is also correct so all the statements are correct so answer is 1 2 and 3 uh let us move to yeah question number 38 now here the sources are given and what are the features that we have borrowed from the different constitution that we have to write here so if you go to the south african constitution the fundamental duties we have not taken the fundamental duties from here but where are the fundamental duties been taken so you see we have a chart over here right so fundamental rights have been taken by they are taken from the us constitution right and fundamental duties we have taken from the soviet so the answer should be it should be soviet right and the procedure for amendment of the constitution we have taken it from the south african constitution so fundamental duties we have taken it from the soviet where is the procedure to amend the constitution that is from the south african constitution so these are interrelated right us constitution impeachment of the president yes this we have borrowed from the us constitution canadian constitution advisory jurisdiction of the supreme court this is also correctly match so answer is 3 and 4 question number 39 e b rama swami nayakar is associated with which of the following organizations indian national congress yes he was part in 1919s he was uh, associated with the indian national congress vaikom satyagraha major part of the vaikom satyagraha which was against the rights for the underprivileged uh, in the kerala region so vaikom satyagraha where the temple entry movement ये जो टेंपल एंट्री मूवमेंट वाज द मेन फोकस एंड व्हिच रिजल्टेड इन द टेंपल एंट्री 
proclamation proclamation of 1936 was the major victory of this people fighting for the temple entry movement right so vaikom satyagraha is also correct the mahar sat movement was associated with bhimrao ambedkar not with uh, the temp not with e uh, ev rama swami dravidar kazagam this is also the movement that was associated with ev nayakar so answer is 1 2 and 4 which of the following are federal feature of the constitution we have two features that are unitary feature as well as the federal features right so federal features we will see as to which of the following elements are forming the federal feature independent judiciary yes independent judiciary is a federal feature division of power this is also a federal bicameralism by the name it says uh, bicameralism you have state also in it written constitution yes two governments yes these are the federal features all are federal features which of the following changes were made to the constitution by the 44th amendment very easy question very very easy question right to property was removed yes right to property was removed article 191f the it was firstly a fundamental right a new D dpsp uh, to maintain social order was added so which is the dpsp that was added question number 41 right it allowed for the judicial review of the election to the office of president yes this was also added to the so it is after the emergency right after the emergency question number 42 which of the following of uh, provisions of the indian constitution is not a fundamental duty to uphold and protect the sovereignty unity and integrity yes it is there to protect the monuments places objects of national importance this is not a fundamental duty this is a directive principle of state policy right so we are in question number uh, 42 yeah under article this is under article 49 49 that we have to protect the monuments pesa act so under pesa act that is the provision of the panchayat extension to the schedule areas 1996 which of the following are the powers endowed to the gram sabha so a lot of powers are given to the gram sabha in uh, through this pesa act which controlling yeah controlling money lending to the uh, schedule tribes controlling yes this is allowed managing village market this is also allowed regulating the sale and consumption of any intoxicants uh, this is also there controlling institutions functionaries in all social sector this factor is also there right so all of the uh, above are answer to this question number 44 last test also we have discuss about this preventive detention here also we have this article 22 what does it says protects only citizen it is not only citizen who have been arrested or detained under the preventive detention law it is also uh, the others who have been uh, prevented right so this is incorrect person detention cannot be extended beyond 6 months without the approval of an advisory board it is 3 months it is not 6 months it is 3 months 3 months se zyada agar aapko advance karni hai so you need to take the permission of this advisory board now this contempt of court very easy question contempt of court has been defined in the constitution no it is not defined in the constitution 
the contempt of power cannot be reduced by the parliament yes it cannot be reduced uh which of the following members are part of the electoral college of the president of india election so all the elected members of the um, of the central legislative assembly uh, the council members and uh, elected ones right so elected members of both the houses yes they are there but we do not have the nominated people of the both the houses of parliament are not there elected members of the state assemblies are also part but the council wherever there is bicameralism in the state that is the state council that is the legislative council their members are not part of this are not part of the election so nominated members are not part elected members of the assemblies of the union territory yes wherever there is an assembly the union territory is delhi for pondicherry we have them as participating in the election and state legislative council members are not there even if they are elected so answer is 1 3 and 5 yeah inter state council article 263 right it submits an annual report to the president of india it does not submit any annual report its recommendations are they are not binding upon the centers and the state it does not have the power to inquire uh into dispute no it does not inquire into the dispute but for the effective coordination between the state and the center this interstate council have been formed so this is about article 263 that is about the interstate council now question number 48 with respect to union council of minister the advice tendered to them by the can be inquired in any court it cannot be inquired into any court the advice that this council of ministers are giving to the president they cannot be inquired they are collectively responsible to parliament they are collectively responsible to the lok sabha they hold office during the pleasure of president yes they do hold office during the pleasure of the president a minister who is a lok sabha member has the right to speak and take part in the proceeding of the rajya sabha yes he can take part in the proceedings of the rajya sabha so third and fourth statement are correct yes we have the correct answer as 3 and 4 now with respect to the parliamentary privileges which of the following are correct members cannot be questioned by an outside body for any vote given in in given inside the house yes they cannot be questioned so this statement is right courts are prohibited from inquiry into the validity of any proceedings in parliament on the grounds of an alleged irregularity of procedure yes they are also available to the attorney general of the india yes this parliamentary privileges are also available to the attorney general so so yan we will move towards the question number directly we will move to 74 yeah question number 74 mahatma gandhi formed the passive resistance association in south africa why to protest against this an act of compulsory holding of a certificate of registration you see in south africa many of the things were uh, were opposed with respect to india we had poll tax right poll tax were there on the ex indentured labor then we had the marriage registration that were termed as illegal marriage registration which were done not by the christian uh, system 
वेर टर्म डस इलीगल यानी कि हिंदू से जो किया है जो इस्लामिक पद्धत से किया है ऑल दिस मैरिज वे टर्म डस इलीगल बाय हो बाय दिस ब्रिटिशर्स इन साउथ अफ्रीका एंड दे इम्प्ली दे पुट मेनी टैक्सेस आल्सो ओवर हियर एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन दैट यू आर इंडियंस दैट यू आर इंडियन सो दिस एक्ट ऑफ कंपल्सरी सर्टिफिकेट वॉज टू बी Uh, told that you need to carry this certificate wherever you go so this was opposed by gandhi by forming this passive resistance association now question number 75 with respect to the dirky bird plan so this dicky bird plan this was given by mount abu sorry mount batten mount batten in 1947 before giving the Mount Batten plan before on the third of June, the Mount Batten plan आता है. उसके पहले this plan was given by uh, Mount Batten himself, and this plan was such that all the provinces would be given an option uh, to consider itself outside the major Indian Union, right? So this plan was also called the Plan Balkan. Why? Because directly it was seen by nehru and all the indian uh, leaders that this was a plan where balkanization would be one of the results so yes this was the plan balkan the its main aim was to declare the provinces as independent successor states yes this was one of the major provision of this plan now let us come to the judicial reform under Warren Hastings, seventeen seventy three to eighty six. This was the time period when Warren Hastings was the Governor General, right? So, District Diwani Adalat was formed for civil dispute. So he divided this judiciary system into two parts. That is, Diwani Adalats, where civil cases were solved, and you had the Fauz Dari, Fauz Dari Adalat. where the criminal cases were solved right but in time of this warren hastings he gave majority of the power to the district magistrate where the uh, judiciary were not separated from the executive and that was the major reason but when cornwallis came into picture he separated both judiciary and the executive so judiciary was separated no it was not during his time to maintain a transparency all cases were to be heard in open courts yes this was a major thing that was done by warren hastings ki open courts rakhe the so the answer is 1 and 3 now tolka pm is a work on a tamil grammar written during sangam age sangam age when did was the sangam age was held third century third century during the time of the pandyas in the south the three sangams were held where the sangam literature was created sangam literatures were created where mostly the heroics of all the leaders uh, during the pandya rulers and everyone were mentioned in this sangam literature so tolka pm yes this is the grammar work of tamil during this sangam age mani mekhalai was written by illango adigal it was not written by illango adigal illango adigal wrote sillapadikaram illango adigal wrote sillapadikaram and mani mekhalai was written by sittal by sittal by sittalai satnar now gadar party gadar party 1913 se 1915 it was the time in which it was active in the san francisco area in the northern america where they also had the newspaper the gadar where they used to write in uh, you know gurmukhi script gadar the rebellion <clears throat> right so which of the following organizations were associated right the pacific coast Hindustan Association. It was the earliest name of uh, this Gadar Party. Yes. So this is right. 
Indian League, it was uh, later on in India that this was formed. So, this is not associated. Yugantar Ashram was also uh, established, was also the name, right? So, headquarters of the movement were set up by the name of Yugantar Ashram. So, Yugantar in Bengal, a, uh, with respect to the revolutionary, is a different. So, Bombay Plan of 1944. So, this Bombay plan of 1944, it was mostly given by the industrialists in India and it mostly focused on how the state would involve themselves in the economic planning, right? So, more state role should be there and they emphasized on different, different aspects as the role of state, uh, decreasing inequalities in the society, called for abolition of zamindari. So, this statement is correct. So, this was proposed by a group of socialist leader. No, they were proposed by industrialists. It envisaged the major role of state in the economy. Yes, this is correct. Both the statement, the answer is 2 and 3. Which of the following statements are correct about the great stupa of Sanchi? Great stupa of Sanchi, very well known for the toranas, right? The external toranas, the very, very decorative toranas of stupa of Sanchi are famous. It was started in the time of Ashoka, the Mauryan king. Uh, Buddha was depicted in human forms in murals. It was not depicted in human form. The stupa was actually where the ashes of Buddha was uh, kept and it's said to be one of the symbols where he is depicted, right? So, uh, in different phases of Buddha are depicted in different forms such as the Dhamma Chakra Pravartana that is the beginning of the wheel is depicted by the wheel is depicted by the wheel itself what is this dhamma chakra pravartana then the uh, so mahapari nibbana that is the death of the buddha is depicted by this stupa and that was at sanchi so this statement is incorrect only answer first statement is correct Inscription on the iron pillar of Meheroli, Meheroli in Delhi, it was during the Gupta dynasty. It was during this Gupta dynasty that this was mentioned. Now, you have to find which of the following uh, tells you. This cave shrine is another great monument of the Rashtra Kutas. So, you, uh, you know, suddenly you make your choice that it is in the Deccan region. So, which contains the famous Mahisha Murti. So, Mahisha Murti in the Deccan region, few important caves are Ajanta is there, Elora is there. Uh, then in the south where this Rashtraputas were there, you have Elephanta over there. Now, suddenly you say that this Ajanta is deleted. Why? Because it is whole a Buddhist cave, right? In when you go to Elora cave, you do not find any Mahisha Murti over there. Yes, you have a Shiva. Uh, sculpture, the Shiva temple of Kailasnatha is there, but when you go to the Elephanta cave, you see that this Mahisha Murtis are there. They were constructed in the mid 5th to 6th century AD. Shrines associated with both Buddhism and Hinduism are found here. So, it is the Elephanta caves. Now, the Borobudar temple, it is in Indonesia. You should be knowing this very very important important uh, in temples caves which uh, are outside india and which formed the basic uh, contact the foreign contact during the ancient early middle and the medieval time period so this is in indonesia ananda temple this is in myanmar now the ramanna kali temple very famous recently india had a uh, Indian president, I guess, uh, visited this Kali temple. It's in Bangladesh, Dhaka region. Right, Dhaka. So, the answer is only two is correct. Now, about Kathak. Kathak, UP. Kathak, they are storytellers, Katha. Right. So, Kathak is performed by both male and female. Yes. Thumri. Thumri is one of the music accompanying traditional Kathak. Yes, Thumri, where this Kathak, when they are moving fastly on their feet, when they are taking rounds, that is when this Thumri comes into picture. 
so this kathak and thumri both are correct over here now kangada painting kangada painting is a famous pahadi painting it is also known as the pahadi painting pahadi painting so when you uh, when you learn about this kangada painting so it is associated with the himachal pradesh the pahadi painting so this kangada painting mostly the krishna cult over there radha krishna ki love story and all everything is depicted in this pahadi painting so cult of so krishna cult is famous so let's move to the 80 86 86 question number pashupati seal so they are asking you what material was used so they are asking you pairs of art form and material that was used so pashupati seal <coughs> pashupati seal just give me a Yeah, uh, Pashupati seal. This was made from steatite and not terracotta. Terracotta se kya banate the? They made mother goddesses. They made uh, different toys from this. Am I audible? Yeah, they made different toys from this. From this terracotta. So. Uh, mother goddess is made from terracotta and steatite se pashupati the bronze dancing girl it is made from the bronze right so the bronze dancing girl which was made by the lost wax technique kaun si hai ye lost wax technique this was used to make this bronze dancing girl features of the later vedic phase now the first option says that use of domesticated animals for agriculture was not yet was yet to start this is wrong actually it was already started use of iron was an important factor yes it was an important factor pgw that is the painted gray ware pottery was used in this period yes it is correct institution of gotra was developed in this phase yes this is also correct so the answer is 2 3 and 4 now question number 88 tells you about satvahan dynasty it was founded by gautami putra shatakarni it was not founded by gautami putra shatakarni yes he was an important ruler where many coins were struck by gautami putra shatakarni but it was founded by simukhi by simukhi achievements of gautami putra satkarni were recorded in the nasik inscription yes gautami putra satkarni satvahan the deccan area and that is when this nasik inscription becomes very very famous amravati stupa was built during the reign it was not during his reign it was during the maurya maurya king now much of the following are correct about the belief of raja ram mohan roy raja ram mohan roy who is also associated with the brahmo sabha brahmo sabha monotheism yes he did believed in the monotheism single god infallibility of the vedas he did not believe that the vedas are supreme he said that even if you think that uh, something is right and it is opposing the vedas still you can question the vedas need of modern education yes uh, separation of the executive from the judiciary now this option many of them would think that you know he was not into politics but given the time duration he was he was one of the educated person during that time and he had given many of his views on politics on politics 
सो दिस ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट Now with respect to the Pallava rulers, this Ghatikas, Ghatikas were educational centers. Ghatikas means they were educational centers. Uh, now who among the following is associated with uh, Molla? So Molla was a Telugu poet, right? Mo yeah, he was a Telugu poet and uh, Question number ninety-two, with reference to the medieval Indian history, the term money grammar. What is money grammar? Basically, they are guilds of merchants. They are guilds of merchants in the South India, in the medieval South India. They were guilds of merchants. So this is about your history, polity, and some his science and technology. Rest part will be covered by the next faculty over here. So thank you and stay with us. Hello everybody. So let's. Uh, I am Vakhe Vihari, and let's start with the economy portion uh, of the syllabus. Okay. So I think the first question related to. Okay. Okay. So since Rahul have already covered question one, so let's start with question number eight, which is the first question. I think question number eight will be the first question of the economy. Even let's come to. Uh, yes. Okay. So let's start with uh, question number eight. Okay. So, with reference to cash management bills, consider the following statement. Okay. So whether ca cash management bill uh, is it a money market instrument or capital market instrument? So you know, cash management bill is a money market instrument. Okay. And and see see a statement number one, okay. So they are issued to meet immediate cash require cash flow requirement of both central government and state government. Okay. Now if you know money market is, if you know cash management bill, then you know that uh, cash cash management bills are issued only uh, to meet short term cash flow mismatch of central government. So one is incorrect. And the moment you will say that one is incorrect, you will arrive at the answer. Okay. So, so this was this was an easy question. Okay. The cash management bill, you know, have all the typical characteristics of T bills. Okay, Treasury bill. So the all the typical characteristics are almost same. Now you see statement number two. These are zero coupon securities and pay no interest. So that's all right. They are they they do not pay any interest. They are zero coupon uh, instruments. Okay. So only when you will uh, sell it, you will get at par value, and that uh, the difference between discount and at par at par value will be the uh, benefit you will get. So one, so two is incorrect. So two is correct, okay. And these bills are eligible as statutory liquidity ratio securities. So this is also correct. Had this had had this been one only and two only, then it would have been a tougher. Uh, question relatively tough question because here though uh, the moment you will eliminate one you will get the answer okay so life was easy here okay let's move to question number nine with reference to market stabilization schemes consider the following statement 
Okay. Now, market stabilization scheme. Let's say first statement. It is a money market. Uh, it, it, it is a uh, monetary policy tool. This you know. Now, it is a monetary policy tool used by RBI to increase money supply in the economy. Okay. Now, if you know what market stabilization scheme means, then you know this. That suppose this is suppose this is the economy, and 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 suppose RBI is not happy with the level of money supply in the economy. Suppose RBI is uncomfortable with the uh, level of money supply in the economy. There is too much money supply in the economy. Then only RBI will use market stabilization scheme and will suck the money out. So it is not to increase money supply in the economy. It is to reduce the money supply in the economy. Right. So so. So statement number one, though it is incorrect. Okay, so now you have two only and neither one and two. Okay, let's see two. The government lends the RBI its bond or security to carry out market stabilization scheme. Okay, now how market market stabilization scheme uh, functions in 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 real life? So here we have government. Okay, here we have RBI, and here we have market. So government gives bond to RBI or government securities, whatever, and RBI sells these securities in market. Okay, sells securities in market. Okay, in, and in return, RBI gets money from market. Okay, this is how uh, market stabilization scheme works. Okay, so statement two is correct. Two only is the correct answer. Okay, so uh, this is a money market instrument which cannot be used to increase money supply. Okay, so again, see uh, anything the, the all 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 the monetary policy tools are important for exam because recently UPSC have been asking questions related to one, these two. Okay, question number ten with reference to Bhim UPI, consider the following statement. Okay, Bhim UPI appli applications have Three levels of authentication for security. Okay, let's let's first uh, choose uh, that statement which is easiest. Okay, in Bhim UPI, user can pre-authorize a transaction for debit from bank account later. Okay, some of you might have even used this this feature of Bhim UPI to pay your bills. Okay, so one so one is correct. If one is correct, you will uh, remove this. Now one Bhim UPI. Okay, let's let let's, let's uh, leave one for for last. Okay, come to three. Beam is developed by RBI. So you know, okay, there are two things. One, if you know as a fact that Beam is developed by NPCI. Okay, Beam is developed by National Payment Corporation of India, NPCI. Okay. Then, though you know that statement number three is incorrect. But suppose you know you don't know that Beam is developed by R by by NPCI, but still, RBI normally. Uh, is related to regulations. RBI do not get involved into development development of uh, payment systems. Okay, development of app. RBI do not get involved into this. So three, uh, in in uh, there is a high chance that three would be incorrect. Okay, and if you can uh, guess this, then you will arrive at one and two only answer. Okay, now okay, tell me one one app which is developed by RBI. Okay, one app which is developed by RBI. Okay, go Google it or you can tell me here. There is a one app. Which have been developed by RBI. Okay, tell me the name of that app. Okay, now let's come to one. Bhim UPI applications have three levels of authentication for security. Indeed, Bhim Bhim UPI have three levels. Which three levels? Two levels to are very clear. Okay, isn't it? So one to mobile number. It's it's, uh, it's very obvious. And second to U, uh, UPI PIN. Okay, you all have been using it. The third is device ID. Okay, so device ID also is used, though you are not. Uh, entering device ID as such, so one and two only. The correct answer A is the correct answer, right? See nowadays anything anything related to RBI becomes very very important. Okay, let's see question number eleven. Okay, now with reference to Philips curve, consider the following statement: one Philips curve. Okay, so statement number one is correct or incorrect? Phillips curve shows that. Okay, let let's let's first draw Phillips curve. What is Phillips curve? So here uh, this is a curve. So here 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 we have unemployment rate on x-axis. 
on x axis we have unemployment rate and on y axis we have inflation hello hello satyendra so satyendra uh, what about a statement number 1 whether statement number 1 is correct or incorrect philips curve shows that now so this is this is what philips curve looks like okay that is that is if inflation will uh, will will come down if inflation is here if inflation will come down then unemployment rate will increase okay see if inflation will come down then unemployment rate will increase okay so that's what it is because it it is uh, it is assumed that if inflation will come down then economic activity will decrease and unemployment rate will also increase okay so there is a inverse relation between inflation and uh this uh, unemployment rate so statement number 1 to it is incorrect that higher the rate of inflation the higher will be the unemployment rate you know that higher the rate of inflation if you if you will go higher here then unemployment rate is is coming down so it's inverse relation one to incorrect if one is incorrect now you have two only and both one and two now let's consider statement number 2 a stagflation condition in an economy contradicts the philips curve concept now inversely related right right satyan right and and what about a stagflation you know what a stagflation is is and and uh, whether a stagflation supports uh, this philips curve idea or is it against it okay so a stagflation is stagnation plus inflation okay so if if stagflation says that there is high inflation in the economy okay but at the same time there is a stagnation in the economy what does this mean this mean if there is if there is high if, if there is uh, stagnation in the economy then rate of unemployment will be high okay so in stagflation there is high inflation and at the same time high rate of unemployment what does this mean this means that this is correct contradicts it it contradicts the philips, philips curve concept okay so so two only is the correct answer okay contradictory term right 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 sir let's move to question number 12 okay which of the following statement is are correct about transfer pricing okay see whenever you are reading any question hello hello manisha uh okay so we are here on question number 12 we are discussing economy portion of the uh, test six okay so which of the so see whenever you are reading a statement question statement always try to encircle or underline the key term so which of the following statement is are correct this is first first thing you have to do because at times uh, it's written that which of the following statement is are incorrect or not correct so correct and second is about transfer price okay now what is transfer pricing first statement is transfer pricing refers to price of goods and services that are exchanged between companies under common control okay so this is just related to the definition of transfer pricing okay so for example for example uh, this is say say uh, tata sons okay you know tata sons are uh, there are lots of companies under under this umbrella of tata sons okay see this this common control we will we are trying to play okay so suppose there is there is there is this company uh, uh tata motors tata motors office in london let's say uk tata motors office in uk you know tata motors have uh, have uh, they they have bought uh, these these uh, these uh, legendary uh, uk uh, car, uh, cars okay so so uh, so tata motors suppose they have this tata motor uh, office there in london and then you have a tata t in india okay let's say so these two companies are related companies and they both are under the same umbrella common control okay now whatever there will be whatever the transaction between these two companies this transaction will be covered under transfer pricing rules okay so first is the correct statement okay that it refers to price of goods and services that are exchanged between companies under common control okay common control is the key term okay so one is correct second now what happens that if they say that if tata if tata t says that hey you are my friend okay uh, we are family uh, we will send you uh, so many uh, packets of tea tata t 
two 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 data models uh, free of cost. Okay. Now, if if Tata T will send free of cost uh, these these T packets, then what will happen to the revenue earned by the government? Since it's uh, it's priced at zero, then governments will not earn any revenue, and it will be a case of tax avoidance. So this is also used as tax avoidance mechanism. Okay. So so yes, Satyendra, you are right. Okay. So C is the correct answer. Okay. Both one and two. Okay. So this is very important. Uh, why this was in news recently? Transfer pricing was in news recently because of what? There was a dispute going on between government of India and 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 a multinational company. Which company was that? Okay. Let me know in the chat. Which company was that? Okay. Let's come to question number thirteen. Okay. Which of the following actions may lead to crowding out effect in the economy? Okay. Now, what is crowding out effect in the economy? Suppose this is the economy. Okay. And suppose this is the. Okay. This is the, this is the amount of money in the economy. Okay. And this is government. And this is, say, private sector. Okay, so to begin with, there are there are three units of money, and both private sector and government is there. Suppose now government will borrow the two the, the two units of money. Okay, then only one unit of money will be left in the economy for all the corporates all all the private sector to borrow. Okay, so borrowing will become costly, isn't it? Uh, Cans India, Cans India. Yes, Vodafone. Vodafone was there earlier. Okay, so you are right. Vodafone also was there. Cans India was more recently in news. Okay, so here. So crowding out means that if 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 government will borrow from the market, then there will be lesser money left in the market, and private sector will struggle. Okay, because private sector will have lesser money to uh, to to borrow from the market. So interest rate will. Increase for private sector. That is crowding out effect. That's why it is says that crowding out. It's it's uh, it's it's not good for private investment. Now let's now let's see statement number one. RBI buying government security from the market. If RBI will buy government security from the market, then what will happen to money money supply in the market? Okay. If RBI will buy government security, then RBI will give money in the market, isn't it? If RBI will give money in the market, then money supply in the market will Increase right, so so that will not lead to crowding out because crowding out happens only when money supply will decrease in decrease here only when government will borrow, not government will pump money in. So one to incorrect, okay. So if 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 one is incorrect, then you have only three only and two and three, okay. Then statement number two. Government borrowing from market to fund fiscal deficit. The moment you see borrowing, you don't have to think twice. Okay, this is correct. This is the case of crowding out. Government launching sovereign green bond. Okay, again, if government will launch sovereign green bond, then government will be sucking money in uh, from the so sucking money out from the market, or government will be pushing money in the market. If government will launch uh, sovereign green bond, then someone in the market will buy it. Okay, and if someone in the market will buy it, then they will pay money to the government so again this will be the case of crowding out okay so two and three only is the correct answer right so the the, the concept of crowding out and concept of crowding in is very important okay it's it's always disputed whether crowding on crowding out happens or crowding in happens even economic survey uh, last year economic survey uh, discussed this that's why it's it's here okay question number 14 Which of the following statements is are correct about the ordinance making power? Okay, it's it's not my job. Okay, so this is this is this is question of polity. Okay, uh, but still we can we can we can have a look. Okay, so this is a polity question. Uh, right now I'm discussing economy questions only. But let's see this question. Which of the following statement is are correct about ordinance making power of the president of India? Okay, it's it's a uh, correct. an ordinance can be issued only if at least one of the house in the parliament is not in the session right that that's when uh, ordinance is issued if both the houses are in uh, are, are 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 in session then what's what's need of uh, having a having ordinance okay then you can go through the normal procedure so one two is correct okay the moment one is correct 
So you are you are left with one and two only and one, two, and three. Okay. See, it's it's very important to identify that one statement which you know is most certainly correct or incorrect. Okay. Then only you can uh, go there. Then only you can uh, you can you can you can use elimination method. Okay. Two. An ordinance can be issued only on those subjects on which Parliament can make laws. Of course, the, these powers are these powers overlap. The maximum life of an ordinance is six months. Okay. No, it's 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 incorrect. So so. So we have one and two only. Okay. Okay. Question number fifteen. The agreement on rules of origin. Okay. The agreement on rules of origin is related to which of the following organization? What does rules of origin says? Origin of what? Okay. Here options have been very intelligently designed. Okay. So so but but you know that agreement on rules of origin is related to. Uh, international trade, okay, that uh, because 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 at times the 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 duty or or whether a particular product is allowed in the market at all or not depends on the place of origin of the product, okay. So that's why the agreement of rules of origin is related to World Trade Organization, okay. It's it's not mandatory to have certification related to place of origin. It's not mandatory, but the country can demand. If, if there is a circumstance, then they can demand. It is not mandatory. Be very careful. It is not mandatory. So B is okay. B is correct answer. Okay. Question number sixteen. Which of the following statements are correct with reference to GST Council? Okay. Now GST Council is it a constitutional body or a statutory body? Satyan or 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 Manisha anybody? GST Council is a is a, is, a, is a constitutional body, right? It is mentioned in the constitution. Okay, it was introduced by a constitutional amendment. Now, prime minister is not a member of GST council. Prime minister, whether prime minister is a member or not, Achha. who is chairperson of GST council? This you should be knowing. Okay, finance minister is the chairperson of GST council. Now, if finance minister is chairperson, then prime minister cannot be a member. Okay, mostly if prime minister is member of something, then prime minister will be the chairman. But here, finance minister is the chairman, so one to incorrect. Okay, now two. As per the constitution, as per the constitution act, okay, every decision of the GST council must be taken by consensus. Now, now you 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 might have read in the news many times that uh, this and this decision have been taken by GST council by consensus. Okay, this is always in news. Okay, but this is not a rule. Okay, so this is just it. It 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 may so happen that there was a consensus, or the consensus was built. Okay, but it is not the rule. What is the rule? Rule says that there must be at least three fourth, three fourth of the total vote cast. Three fourth of the vote must be in favor of. The one, the 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 decision which will be passed. Okay, so so for a decision to be accepted, it must it must get at least three fourth of the vote. Okay, so statement number two is incorrect. If a statement number two is incorrect, then one only is the correct answer. Okay, now tell me, what is the share of central government and the state governments in GST council? Okay, so what the share in voting power, share in total voting power? What per, what what fraction of Voting power lies with uh, uh, with with central government. You know, okay. So union government has one third of vote, and state government combined has two third of vote. Right. So now again, again, what what do you what do you mean? So 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 here here you can see that without consent of union government, no decisions can be passed. Okay. So this rule was made. Very cleverly, that union government have one third of the vote. Unless union government will vote in favor of a decision, that decision cannot be passed. Okay, the state governments may or may not block, but union government, so they always have power to block because they are one third of the vote. Okay, so because they because one third because one third is greater than one fourth, right? Okay, now let's see. Okay, so one only is the correct answer. Question number seventeen. Okay. Consider following statement with reference to WTO's 
agreement on trade related investment trips. Now, this question, I, I, I'm sure most of you would have got it right, or at least most of you should have got it right. Why? Because a very similar question, mostly, mostly uh, to test same, same concepts. The question was asked in CSE 2020. So this is, this is like a previous year question, okay? So 2020 uh, trims was asked, okay? So one, trade related, agreement on trade related investment. Agreement applies to investment measures related to trading goods only. Trading goods only. Yes, right, right, Manisa, you are right. So agreement applies to investment measures related to trading goods only. Yes, this is right, okay? So this trade related, so this trade related investment measures are applicable only for trading goods, not in trading services. Okay, so so one to one one is correct. Okay, because it says that related to trading goods only. So one is correct. The agreement is not concerned with the regulations of foreign investment. Now, it by name it may so appear that this this agreement on trade related investment measures is related to to regulation of foreign investment by name it may appear but 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 actually this agreement has nothing to do with regulation of foreign investment it is not at all about foreign investment it is about any investment be it foreign investment be it domestic investment it says that this these it say, it simply says that investments investors cannot discriminate cannot discriminate between domestic goods and imported goods while making investment okay so the the crux here is discrimination between imported goods and domestic goods so idea is to eliminate this discrimination okay now uh, so agreement is not concerned with regulation of foreign trade. No, uh, it's it's not like uh, there is discrimination with 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 foreign investment. Okay, so so two two is correct. Okay, so it is this agreement is about discrimination between imported goods and domestic goods. It's a very important agreement. Okay, uh, recently okay India India have this domestic content requirement twenty to fifty percent domestic content requirement for public sector enterprises. Okay, so that is that 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 rule of India is is uh, uh, the other other countries say that this rule of India violates this uh, trips. Okay, that's why it was asked. Now let's say question number eighteen. Okay, so the, there is customary one one uh, report related question. So this time's report is global economic prospect report. Okay, Global Economic Prospect Report is released by which which organization? Here too you can see that okay, it is released by World Bank. Okay. But you should be aware about one another organization also with similar name. Okay, that is World World Economic Outlook. Okay, so World Economic Outlook is is published by which organization? It is published by IMF. Okay, so be be very careful. World Economic Outlook. The moment you go to World, that that thing is published by IMF. Okay, the moment you go global, that is published by World Bank. Okay, so it is reversed. Though even though here here we have world, but the world world uh, world economic outlook is published by IMF. Okay, be very careful. Okay, so whenever you are reading something, try to find connections like this. Okay, then it will be easier for you to recall in exam hall if you will find connections. Okay, so okay. In in, in, in in explanation, we have other reports by World Bank also. So, so with the help of one question, you can revise these many reports. Okay, so ease of doing business, human capital, world development report, migration development, okay, globally. So, so I think I think this this migration and development brief, this is most counterintuitive report, which is published by World Bank. Okay, and, and human capital index also. This two these two reports you should be careful about because unless you know that these reports are published by world bank there's a high chance that you will not be able to guess it in exam okay now let's see question number 20 
okay with reference to trade receivables and discounting system treds consider the following statement the first statement says that trade receivables is the advance payment made by customers to firm against the supply of goods is still due now if you know the definition if you know the definition of treds then you know that statement number 1 is correct or incorrect write it here before that we will see okay what is treds what is treds suppose here we have a supplier okay and here we have a consumer now supplier have already supplied goods or service whatever so supplier have already supplied goods to the consumer so there is advance supply of goods there is advance supply of goods but it has yet to get it is it is yet to get the payment payment is yet to be made okay just invoice have been approved but payment have not been made very clear about the stage supplier have already supplied goods in advance okay but they have not yet get, but but they have not yet received payment so trade receivables is the advance payment made by the customer is incorrect okay there is no advance payment there is there is advance supply of goods and services so one is incorrect if you only know the very basic definition of this okay it is a payment system authorized by the rbi this is right okay and this is right you could have guessed that this is right because without without the uh, without authorization by rbi no no system will work in india okay that will be illegal okay so rbi must have approved this kind of system okay that's why it's there so so two only is the correct statement right okay question number 20 now you have seen that almost almost in every test we are having one question uh, something related to fdi that that's because of uh, ups is love with fdi particularly in 2021 they asked a question on fdi so we are trying to ensure that every dimension uh, related to fdi is covered who knows okay you cannot trust upsc with this so which of the following statement is correct about so this 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 question is about definition of fdi okay fdi is permissible in both listed and unlisted entities is it right or wrong let me know can there be fdi in unlisted companies okay so 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 you see whenever you see foreign foreign investment okay whenever there is foreign investment then anything more than 10% okay anything more than 10% is fdi right any investment more than 10% is fdi okay now that that's one thing second any investment in any unlisted company is fdi okay so any investment in any unlisted company is fdi okay so be it whatever percentage even 1% 2% 3% whatever any any percentage investment in a unlisted company is always fdi okay that means fii cannot invest in listed company the moment there is a foreign investment in a unlisted company it is fdi okay so unlisted company only fdi okay so statement number 1 fdi is permissible in both listed and unlisted right this is correct the moment it would have said that fii is permissible in both listed and unlisted then you would have marked it as incorrect had it been fii 2 as per present rule fdi cannot be made in coal mining activities okay if you have been following news then you you would have seen uh, articles written on the lack of fdi in india even though even though india permits 100% fdi in 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 coal in in coal mining activities that too by automatic route okay so this statement so was a blasphemous statement okay so 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 statement 2 was the was the blasphemous statement 100% fdi is allowed okay so so the moment you will remove 2 you will get answer okay so 1 and 3 only okay so even if you don't know anything about 1 and 3 uh, if you know just just this that fdi is allowed in coal sector 
you would have got this statement as correct. So this was basically a current affairs question. Okay, this was basically, uh, this did not tested your knowledge of uh, definition of FDI, it was just a current affairs question. Okay, third, FDI can come from both an institution or an individual, this is right, FDI can come from individual as well. Okay, FII, that is for an institutional investment. Okay, institutional, FII, institutional. Okay, so that is for FII, not for FDI. FDI is when a foreign, um, foreign national can make on his own. Okay. So, so one and three only is the correct. And you have noticed again in, in, in previous question, how just on the basis of the current affairs, you were able to mark the correct answer without, without getting into the detail of statement number one and three. Okay. So it's, it's very important to keep your mind, keep your eyes open. Okay. Whenever you are reading newspaper or, or our gazette or anything, then you should always be thinking on uh, these terms, these lines, that how how this this uh, how a particular uh, information can be used uh, by UPSC to trap you. Okay, with reference to design link incentive scheme. Again, again, this question. This was completely a, a, a current affairs question. Okay, completely current affairs question. If you just know that design link incentive scheme is related to semiconductor industries, if you just know that it is related to semiconductor industries. Design linked incentive scheme, if you know that this is related to semiconductor industry, then you know that statement number one though cannot be correct. The flagship initiative of Ministry of Textile, this is so wrong. Okay, this indeed is a plus is a, is a initiative of Ministry of Information Technology. Okay, might be. Okay. So one though is incorrect. Okay. If you only knew that it is related to semiconductor industry, it aims to offer financial incentive as well as machine infrastructure across India for development of apparel sector. Okay. In fact, I think the, the statements were framed so that they, they were the question the question framer was leading you to mark to both one and two as correct. Okay. So you have to be careful. So two two only two is this also is incorrect because design linked incentive scheme is related to semiconductor. Okay. So neither one nor two is the right answer. Okay. Very clear, very clear. Okay. Uh, now tell me, okay, one more fact. Uh, you know, uh, in, in, in semiconductor, India imports almost 100% of its semiconductor, okay? So this is this is one fact which is which is very amusing, that India imports almost almost all of its semiconductor requirements. Now this can be a statement in, in the exam, so you should be very careful. Okay, question number 22. Which of the statements given above is are correct with reference to fiat currency? Now the term fiat currency have already came, uh, have already appeared in our test also, and, and UPSC have also used it idea. Okay, and in our test also, we have used this term. Okay, here we are, here, here this question uh, deals with definition. So fiat money is government issued currency that is backed by a physical commodity uh, like gold. Okay, there, there are two parts. Fiat currency is a government issued currency, that is one statement, and another is it is backed by physical commodity like gold. Tell me whether 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 fiat currency is backed by uh, by by commodities or not. Okay, one is incorrect. It is not backed by any commodity. Earlier days, in earlier days, it it used to be backed by the commodities. Like there there used to be gold coins. Okay, so those coins used to be backed by the commodities. Uh, okay, but but not anymore. Okay, not now. So so one is incorrect. A central bank digital currency is a fiat currency. CBDC. Okay. Is CBDC a fiat currency or not? We know that CBDC is a legal tender and it is a fiat currency. Okay, for all purpose, it is same as currency in your wallet. Okay, except this that it is in digital form. Okay, so 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 one is so two is correct. So two only. This is the correct. Okay. See anything related to CBDC, you should be very clear. Now 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 we are waiting for for budget to be approved. The moment budget will be approved, then other things related to cryptocurrency, the digital tax and things like that uh, will also become important. Okay? Uh, because right now there is proposal in budget uh, related to digital tax, but it's, it's not yet approved. So, so right now UPSC cannot ask question on that, but the moment it is approved, so we have to see. So the, in, the, in, in this way, you have to monitor the news, okay? that what is, what is happening in the news. Okay? You have to keep an eye on that, then you will be able to uh, get many questions right. Okay, question number 23. 
which of the following statement is correct again about extra budgetary borrowing okay which of the following statement is correct about extra budgetary borrowing now if you have uh, extra budgetary borrowing have been in use for for last 2 3 years because government have accepted that government is using extra budgetary um, borrowings to finance its other uh, expenditures okay now the, the moment you see the term extra suppose you do not know what exactly is the extra budget budgetary borrowings then then also see statement number 3 sorry d these are borrowings by the state government to fund a scheme sanctioned by central government most probably so this will be incorrect okay the state government ke paas khud hi apne paas paisa nahi hai paise ke liye khud hi rota rehta hai so if 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 central government is sanctioning this so it's it's unlikely okay but still okay at least it is not extra budgetary borrowing okay it's not extra budgetary borrowing d is correct c it is included in the fiscal deficit calculation though it does not add to the total debt of the government it is included in fiscal deficit calculation what is the word here extra budgetary it is outside the budget okay extra budget so it cannot be included in fiscal deficit it cannot be because the the word itself says that it is extra budgetary okay so so c is incorrect okay now you will be caught between a and b so if you do not know exactly it's difficult but again the word extra may help you here it is excluded from the fiscal deficit calculation so extra budgetary borrowings the government in fact goes for extra budgetary borrowings only because it is not included in 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 fiscal deficit okay so government can say that fiscal deficit is low even though in actual actual government debt is high okay so so in parliament it can say that okay we are we are adhering to the fbm act okay so that is the purpose why government is going uh, for for extra budgetary borrowing so it is excluded from the fiscal deficit that is by definition so b is correct and it is added to total debt debt of the government this is second aspect of course it is added to the total debt of the government because even though even though the borrowing have been undertaken by by other central government agencies like say fci but still uh, over but, but ultimately uh, it's it's a, it's a liability of the government ultimately government have to pay okay so so b is b, b is correct let's take question number 24 with reference to fisheries sector in india consider the following statement okay india is the second largest okay let me let me pull it down okay india is the second largest fish producing country in the world is it correct statement or incorrect statement now you know if you know uh, if you have seen previous year question uh, 2019 if you have seen question uh, asked in 2019 they asked which is the largest exporter of rice okay in world okay the answer was india okay so 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 statements related to foreign trade particularly where uh, india is a significant player in in, in commodities uh, where india is a significant player there you should be knowing india's standing okay so india is the second largest fish producing country in the world is correct statement okay india is the second largest which is the first largest fish producing country in the world first largest let me know in the chat okay Uh, uh whether uh, whether whether that country is our neighbor or not let me know okay second inland production of fish in india is more than marine production now this may appear as counter intuitive but it is correct okay that inland production of fish in india is higher in comparison to the marine production now government is taking a steps to increase the uh, production from marine sector okay so 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 two is correct okay kisan credit card facility is available to fish farmers also yes kisan credit card facility is 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 available to fish farmers also and it is also available to farmers who is practicing animal husbandry okay so so three also is correct one to three now tell me one india is second largest fish producing country which is the first largest uh, fish producing country uh, none else our neighbor which country our neighbor china okay so china is the largest fish producing country okay okay question number 25 which of the following statements is are correct about purchasing manager manager index again this term remains in news every now and then okay it's it's always in news purchasing managers index 
Okay, so when, whenever whenever an article want to talk about increase or decrease in manufacturing activities in the world or or in India, then they are using they are referring to data from purchasing managers index. Okay, what well, and and purchasing managers index they are they are this this, this index is developed by okay. So so purchasing managers index is is sorry, so purchasing managers index is developed by uh, by 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 giving uh, some questions to purchasing managers, the survey based approach. PMI is indicator of business activity in the manufacturing and service sector. Yes, right. It is it is it is indicator of business activity in both manufacturing and services. So this this was uh, this was sought to be tested that whether whether uh, services is also included or not. So one is correct. It is compiled by National Statistical Office. Now you know that India do not officially release purchasing managers index. Okay, so two is incorrect. Okay, so India do not officially release purchasing managers index. This you should be very care, careful. Okay, so this one only is the correct answer. Okay, so so the so these were economy questions. Now we'll take some of the questions from environment. Okay, and and then we will wrap up. Okay, let's let's go to question number fifty one. Okay. Ah, okay. Clyde Bank declaration is in news recently. It is aimed at what? Okay, Clyde Bank declaration. Okay, recently COP twenty six happened. Okay. Okay, in 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 Glasgow and there itself, uh, this this declaration uh, was signed. It is related to building zero emotion in shipping group. Okay, so this was directly related to current affairs. If you know it, you know it, or else it's very difficult to guess. Okay, it's very difficult to guess. In questions like this, mark my word, in questions like this, if there are no clues, and if you do not know anything, then better leave this question and, and move, move. Okay, don't, don't try to play uh, blind guessing. Okay, at times we may get it right, but the probability is very less. It's just a four Okay, with reference to e green watch, consider the following statement. Again, see let, let let's first see statement number three. Set up under chairmanship of Minister of Electronics and Information Technology. Now, the term e green watch is such a term that it is very difficult to guess. Again, if you do not have uh, exact idea, because e the term e uh, brings us to Ministry of Electronics, while green watch brings us to Ministry of Environment. Okay, and the correct uh, correct ministry is Ministry of Environment. Okay, so 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 statement number three is incorrect. See, in 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 these kind of terms or in these kind of initiatives, whenever while reading itself you have to be careful. While reading itself, uh, you should know that these kind of statements are confusing. You can be trapped. Okay, so you should be extra careful at that stage only. Then you will be able to mark it correct in exam. Okay, so this is important. So three is so incorrect. Okay, the moment three is incorrect, you are left with two options, two only, one and two only. So you do not bother about two. You have to uh, see one. Okay, it is an integrated e-governance portal for plantation and other forestry works. It is, it is, it is in fact, it is for efficient management of of plantation and other forestry related works. So one, so so one and two only is the correct answer. Okay. Question fifty-three. Which of the following features? Help camel adapt to desert extremely arid. Okay, so this is related to adaptation. Okay, adaptation questions related to adaptation have already been asked by the UPSC. Now, which of the following features help camel adapt? Thick fur on the top of the body, right? Okay, yes. Okay, it 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 insulates the body uh, from the from the outside. Okay, so it prevents uh, heat loss. Okay, prevents heat loss and and, and moisture loss. So one is so correct. So, so B gone. Water gets evenly distributed in different parts of the body. This also is right. Okay. So two is correct, and lowering its metabolism at light, night. Okay. So, so camel is able to lower its metabolism at night by regulating its temperature. 
okay so what happens in night camel uh, drop camel uh, camel's body is able to regulate the body temperature it, it brings body temperature at lower level so that the temperature difference between the camel's body and the outside environment is less okay lowering its metabolism at light so so three three so this is there so one two and three is the correct answer okay which of the following pairs are correctly matched? Correctly matched. Okay, awareness campaign and launched by association. Not all animals migrate by choice. Again, these, these type of questions are very difficult if you do not know the correct answer and if you are not able to eliminate it. Okay, here, not all animals migrate by choice is not launched by WWF. Okay, so it is, it is, it is, it is, it is launched by the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau and UN Environment. So both, uh, had it been either Wildlife Crime Control Bureau or UN Environment, you would have marked it as correct. So, ye to galat hai, ye to nahi hoga. Okay. Glowing, glowing John, Ayushian, again, this, this also is correct, incorrect. Okay, glowing, glowing John is, is related to, uh, uh, is, is, is related to corals. Okay, coral, coral for, for instance. So, so two is also, incorrect okay so two is related to unep okay un two is related to unep not iucn okay so this here we can incorrect clean c campaign so three is is the only three is the only statement which is correct only only pair which is correctly matched so clean c campaign indeed is by unep okay consider following statements re regarding tundra bio Okay, see, see in, in, in this question, one is the only, only, only uh, problem because three precipitation is mainly in the form of S2 and slit. If you know where tundra is, if you, if you geographically know where tundra is, you know that precipitation is mainly in the form of S2 and slit. So, so three to correct hogan. Okay, two, it has same vegetation as we see on top of very high mountains in the world. Okay, if you have seen Indian geography, you know that same type of vegetation. Uh, is is found also on higher altitudes of Himalaya. Okay, so two is correct. If two is correct, then this. So it comes down to one. Okay, this question was very intelligently framed. Okay, because even if you know two easy questions, two easy statements, you will not be able to answer. In summer, bird migrate south of equator to avoid heat stroke. Now this may appear as correct, but this is incorrect. Okay, in summer, birds migrate northward. And why do they migrate northward? Because it's summer, uh, snow will thaw and insects will come out. So to feed on those insects, birds migrate uh, northward. Okay, so so statement number one, so incorrect. Two and three only is the correct answer. Okay, so, so, so we have discussed some of the questions of economy and some of the questions of environment here. Okay, so, so uh, we'll be concluding this session. But again, the, the one, one thing which I repeat in, in every session is this, that whenever you are reading, whenever you are reading newspaper or whenever you are reading book, then itself you have to think about the tracks. Okay, then, then itself you have to think how UPSC will ask question, how UPSC may ask question. You may, you may frame questions for yourself or you may ask your friend. Okay, that way only you will be able to develop this instinct of of, of elimination in examination okay so it's, it's, it's no rocket science but at the same time if you will think that one day or two days before exam someone will give you a trick and you will apply that trick and crack the exam that's not going to work it's a hard work but if you will be doing it day in and day and night then it will be easy okay so then then it will be, it will become part of your subconsciousness it, it will work in exam okay so all the best and do appear in next test